Hello. Um, we'll be looking at the options menu for our test project Vortex. Now, as in the previous tutorial, I looked at changing the actual backgrounds for each of the menus, like so. Now, every video that you bring in there has quite a lot of interchangeable, uh, changeable uh, selection of different types of options. So, if I imported another video uh, or a still or anything like that, then you could change this and have completely completely separate selection of menus or a selection of options for each one of those. Uh, one of the things that we do have is the options tab. Uh, this actually just shows you the first, I think, the uh, video playback. Let me just check it. Uh, yeah, it just shows the video playback. So this isn't it representing, so don't worry about that. But we have two sections here, which is the options and the disable keys. So for example, within the options, these are all options that can be switched on or off for all of your for this video in particular so for example as I'll go through a few of them we can have loop set to on so when we're playing the video when it gets to the end of the video it will start looping again uh, glue UI which will glue the user interface to the actual uh, head tracking so it will be as if the, the actual head tracking moves with your head rather than in, uh, sits in space in front of you uh, play on load so what this can do is that when you start up the player the first the first thing that happens when you've gone past the health and safety menu is the video will start playing straight away uh, I order left and right uh, if that's unticked it will actually be I order right and left uh, some stills uh, often uh, many stereo stills might be right left instead of left and right there is a lot of these are represent or are connected to keys that are available for the actual player so I order can be altered during playback now this tells you which one it's going to have from the start time code server so this in this case there's a, a thing that's uh, which will send out the time code to uh, to a network server to so any pro, any device that uses that can get access to the position that exists within that video player very uh, very rarely used I think the real touch so it was a requested option and the real touch something or other actually uses it but uh, very few things will need it so I've had it as an option that's disabled I use the oculus rift uh, this is something which this player also works without a rift so you can have it so it just runs and it's uh, it's just a distorted image uh, as if you're just viewing it on a mono mono uh, monitor and you can have it so it's not automatically selected as Oculus Rift when you start loading uh, it's very unlikely you're going to change that at the moment but uh, it's there as an option again uh, continuous play means that it will play back continuously no matter what you do so uh, unlike loop which doesn't start playing when you uh, when you actually start the film unless you've got play on load what continuous play will do is it will play just continuously uh, it will, um, regardless of whether you press play or pause uh, what this can mean is that you can create a menu background for your first still uh, so and then when you choose different videos it will switch to different videos uh, an adopt rotation will take the rotation that you've applied on your previous uh, video uh, and apply it to this video uh, what this can be used for is basic uh, if you're doing a, a situation where you're moving around like if you've created a like an interactive adventure game where you're moving more from one room to another uh, when you rotate to look in a certain direction and then you go forward then the next video or the next still will be rotated in that same direction so north will still be pointing in the direction that you previously had it again not something that you would be using in this project so those are the options you can switch off and on and they'll be added to over time but depending on user, user requests and also uh, also uh, connecting some of the ones that aren't listed here. The disable keys is a way in which you can prevent the person who's playing the video from actually uh, be able to run certain keys. So production keys which is F1, 2 and 3 which gives you uh, uh, grids for the for the dome so you can see when you're producing a film you can see um, where certain bits lie in certain points uh, if you click if you click that then that means that pressing F1 F2 and F3 will no longer apply and that that's uh, that that means that you don't people won't be able to bring out those grids 
uh, skip forward and backwards again these two uh, which I think page up and page down uh, will no longer be connected chapter forwards and chapter backwards again the same so you can actually have chapter points in there uh, that's something that's done on uh, editing the any file but may well be added to the editor uh, loop key so for instance when you press L you can turn the looping of a video off and on which will alter this one here now because we don't want people to loop it we've turned that one off and we've clicked the loop key to be disabled as well so that's no longer going to be able to, people can't switch the looping off and on a glue UI same thing it will stop people from gluing it to their eyes backwards and forwards I don't want people to be able to change the eye order um, the numbers can select different videos I want to turn those off uh, I don't want to be able to access the Explorer and I don't want people to jump to start or well, basically uh, just by t uh, switching all of these is disabled I'm just left with the fire button and the up and down arrow so you can just select menu options and you can just play uh, which is what I want for this video uh, something to note I've mentioned in other videos is that you can actually change the colors here to help you understand the background so so we can see it a bit better just thought I'd throw that in there and that's it that's the uh, that's the options menu for options and disable keys I hope that uh, I hope that helps and uh, if you have any if you have any requests to add extra options or if you want to if you have any problems let me know and uh, I'll do my best to fix them so thank you very much get a chance visit my website www.whirlygig.xyz thank you